English Lake District can offer climbers as good a sport as they'll find anywhere, and if they're so minded with all the perils thrown in. So let's take a look at our climbing boots, with a careful eye for all their good points underneath. Then we'll put on our rope harness and go out to carry the first mountain by assault. But we must take care, the mountain mists are treacherous. They come up almost without warning. And while we're occupied finding hand and footholds on the bare rock, the low-lying clouds might engulf us. Up we go in an almost perpendicular climb. 20 feet of good alpine club rope separating us from a companion. Some of the handholds are good, like this one, and some a little precarious. That corner wants a bit of negotiating, but the going on the whole is risky but pleasant. Rock faces are continually swept by falling stones which have to be guarded against. The stones fall more frequently on some days than on others, according to the weather. So we have to look out for all the signs and take every care. To take these pictures, the camera was pointed almost straight upwards. But we won't look down at it uh, in case, uh, well, you never know. but we can look across the sunlit valley. There's a mist rising, we can smell it and see it, so we must climb with even greater caution. There's no doubt about it now. It's a cold, vapory mist that sweeps over us, for the moment blotting out the rugged peaks and enshrouding the lake below. But just as it can spell disaster to the unwary, it can mean a safety curtain to us, for we're taking no chances especially as there isn't much further to go. We're making doubly sure of our footholds and feeling exhilarated with a strenuous climb, to say nothing of the glow of conquest at overcoming his mountainous majesty. The last few hundred feet are not easy. The mist has gone, but the goal makes the effort worthwhile. To us, being on top of a mountain feels like being on top of the world. 